Hey Cancer, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, thank you for tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so this is a general reading for the sign of Cancer. This does apply to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, all I ask is that you come with an open mind. Take general tarot readings with a grain of salt, my loves, as these are not personal, only general. Okay, take what you need and leave the rest. Uh, please like this video, Cancer. This tells me that, you know, you do want more Cancer readings on this channel. Um, and also, it does a lot for us content creators. You know, this is what I do full time. This is my business. This is how I support myself and, you know, my daughter, my family. So it means a lot. Um, just a simple like means a lot, guys. Okay. All right. Let me shut the freak up. <laughs> All right. What is coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. What is coming to Cancer in love? You have the Eight of Cups reversed, the Knight of Wands was coming to Cancer in love, Cancer. So Cancer, someone could be thinking about making a move here. Um, yeah, someone's definitely making a move here. I feel like this may be someone who walked away from you or you walked away from this freak. But basically, Cancer, I feel like some type of person is about to come in and try to work their magic on you. So you should definitely be careful, Cancer, um, because I get that this person doesn't really... They're coming in for a specific reason, okay? Um, the Knight of Wands tends to be the, the player of the deck. So they're going to come in and lure you and message you and say something sweet to you. Um, and I get that this freak is very charming as well, Cancer. So they will try their best to charm you, um, to entice you into uh, talking to them. But I feel like you need to listen to your intuition, Cancer, because... This person doesn't have good intentions. Not only are they immature, but I get that this is someone who's a player. Um, that's just the truth. I also see that, you know, this freak could be a Virgo, a Gemini. This could be a Pisces or a fire sign. What's coming to Cancer in love? Um, and I'm getting that this person always seems to come back, Cancer. You know, they always seem to come back um, no matter what, you know, and, and this may be someone you're actually tired of. You have the page of coins here. This is someone I feel probably wasn't very stable in your life to begin with. But yeah, that's what they're doing. They, they're coming in here and it's best for you, Cancer, to put this freak right in their place, right where they belong. Because I feel like if you let this person back into your life again, they're going to continue to do what they've always been doing. Okay. Um, I get that for some of you, this, this could be someone you've known for some time or uh, you have some history with this person. You know, Six of Cups reverse. This is someone from the past. I do get that this is someone who's really immature as well, Cancer. They're very immature. Okay, so the High Priestess is your warning here. You know, it's telling you, Cancer, listen. You need to uh, listen to your gut about this person because I do see someone coming back, Cancer. Um, what's the Nine of Swords for Cancer, please? You know, they're going to continue to to juggle you. I feel like this person is going to love bomb you, Cancer. They, they are going to come in um, doing their best song and crappy dance with this magician here. The magician and the Knight of Wands have something in common. They're both very charming. They know what to say. <laughs> they know what to do to dress it up, Cancer. Okay? But Cancer is going to put this freak in their place. Um, and I'm getting for some of you really wanted love with this person in particular. You probably did in the past, but just be careful because if they've made you cry before cancer, they'll make you cry again. Um, I feel like you have shed some tears over this freak. You know, all they do is come in and out of your life. They give you false hope. Okay. Okay. could be an Aquarius okay but I feel like this freak they know that they probably know that you still have feelings for them or if not that they I feel like this person they're kind of manipulative because they play on the fact that you are obviously maybe you know an emotional person by nature right it doesn't necessarily mean that you know you're you're out of control no you're you're an emotional person and and you're a caring person you're a loving person so I feel like this freak kind of plays on that they take advantage of that a little bit um, so be careful with this person. Um, they may try to give you a sad story um, so you can buy it and get you to bite or whatever or play on your emotions. That way you feel bad and let them in. Be careful because this is a trickster. They're trying to get something out of you. 
Um, and I feel like what they're trying to get out of you has something to do with, you know, um, something physical. So if they screwed you once, they will screw you again, Cancer. Okay. They're going to try to get, you know, to get you to understand them and to hear them out and listen to them and, you know, give you a sad story. And I'm hearing for some of you, they may offer, you know, let's go get a drink together, you know, um, you know, things like that. Give me a second. off yeah they may offer let's go get a drink or you know can i come over and let's talk but it's it's all to get what they want it's the high priestess but they are definitely going to try it okay and you may find yourself overthinking like wait wow they gave me a pretty good sad story you know don't listen to the sad story cancer um not at all i'm hearing that song um how can I ease the pain when I know you're coming back again? How can I? Well, you know, this freak keeps coming back again. Okay? If it didn't work out with this person before, there's a reason why, Cancer, and that's what I'm hearing, okay? This person really is immature. They're a player. Yeah, so the Queen of Swords is telling you to cut this person off. Don't even, you know, don't 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 even think twice about, you know, dealing with this person because to be honest, um they they're not saying anything different. That's what I'm hearing, Cancer, they're not. Okay? And for those of you in relationships, I feel like, you know, there could be something about somebody possibly wanting out of the relationship and maybe they, they you know they're thinking about moving away and you know you may notice that they're treating you more like a friend or like a roommate or something like that but it, that's not for all of you so please don't panic guys okay <laughs> don't panic that's not for all of you but i do feel like this you know someone's definitely coming back cancer that's for sure they're surely coming back here um And they probably just want to have some fun in the sun. Okay. They want to have a little fun with you here. They're about to test the waters, Cancer. Um, and say something to you here. But you're you're being you're being advised to really listen to your intuition. Where's my nine of wands? Yep, you're definitely being strongly, strongly advised to listen to your intuition. And if this is a new person, even if it's not someone that's essentially coming back, um, if this is a new person, tread lightly, tread lightly. You can keep them as a friend if you wish, but uh, I would say don't do more than that. Don't do more than that, Cancer. I'm hearing Sagittarius. Okay, so what do we have? This person is reminiscing on past moments with you. Okay. Um, you have false masks. So with false masks, like I said, this person is going to come in to intentionally and purposely, um, you know, hide their true intention. So be careful. Because all they're really coming back for is, you know, like I said, um, you have truth will be revealed. They, you know, they're really coming, coming back to just get whatever it is that they want. You have lurking in the shadows, okay, and observing every action. So this may be someone who's already been watching you before they kind of make their, they go in for the kill here. And if you're cross watching for a cancer, just be careful, okay. This could mean that this cancer here is obviously, you know, probably a player, um, and they don't really have too good of an intention. Okay, you could be dealing with the Libra. What else for Cancer, please? Um, this could be someone with a crazy lifestyle. And with illusions, I feel like this is someone who's about to really put a lot of illusions in your mind. So be careful. There could be a third party as well. This is someone who likes to play the field. 
okay? This may be someone that you're not really too happy with, okay? This person probably lives a double life. They do find you very attractive and very beautiful. They're in awe by you, okay? They do have a crush on you, Cancer. Um, but like I said, I think it's just very superficial with this person. You have nostalgia, Gemini, and fun only. So this is a freak who's probably only looking for some fun in the sun. So if you don't want fun in the sun, uh, Cancer, then um, it's in your best interest to just use your wisdom and your knowledge to make a final judgment about this freak and keep them away from you. Because that's what the Queen of Swords would do. A page can't do anything for you. Neither can a knight. The knight of coins can, but he will eventually, but not right now. <laughs> okay.